Uh, don't walk into those traps, Elizabeth. That's it. Slate. He's here. Alright, we're gonna have to fight Slate now. Awesome. Uh, did I watch both of these? The Lamb is the future of the city. Behold the miracle. Did I watch this one? The Lamb is the future of the city. The seed of the prophet watches over us from Monument Island. When will she emerge? Uh, now. Only the great prophet knows with certainty. Well, well, she's here now, so... And we did watch this, right? Behold the Miracle Child, yes. Didn't we? Behold the Miracle Child, a prophecy is fulfilled. Oh yes, we did. We watched that one already. Ah, uh, and then we walked straight back out. So we walked in and then we walk out again. Dollar bill, which we don't really need. Stark ships. He's coming for Slate. It was Slate who killed for his country at Wounded Knee! It was Slate who stormed the gates at Peking! Slate! Slate, you say? Comstock's coming, Booker. But our lives won't satisfy him. Oh, no. He won't rest until he's turned us into tin. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier's death awaits. All right, well, here they come. Again, the enemies run at you, and you have to shoot them till they die. Maybe I should use the rifle? Maybe... They are quite far away. Except they do run towards you, so... Oh, look, hey! Wait, is that it? You're not the Booker DeWitt I remember! Tin Man! Tin Man! You can't actually hit him. You can't actually hit Slate until you kill all his dudes. Oh, hey. Alright, are we, are we, no, we're not done. Alright, not done. Come on, come on, let's go. Who, who is that? Who is that? You. Uh, thanks. Is that all you can muster, soldier? No, I, Come I on now, got more. Dewitt. Don't disappoint the boys. And he continues. Did he really summon a Robo Washington on me? Rejoice, for death he did. Has why? No why did he summon a Robo Washington on me? I thought he hates Tin Man. What is even going on right now? Oh, hey! He's not dead. Oh, now he's dead. Okay, now what? Come on, DeWitt! Show me what you're made of! Well, I could have done that if you didn't send all your other dudes at me. Did I? Did I kill him? Did I kill him? Did I actually kill him? I think I killed him. Alright, well that... That didn't take very much work. And there you go. That's the combat in this game. A lot of dudes run towards you, you kill them all. Kinda like Serious Sam. Or maybe the original Doom, 
and Doom 2. Not my most favorite game design examples though. Mysterious Sam and Doom. I mean, they were pretty good games for their time, it's just that they're quite primitive from today's you know, standards. Alright, well, that's it. That's the combat. Let's see if we can find any loot in here. What is that? Is that a lockpick? It's a lockpick. Alright. Grab more loot, grab more loot, grab the loxophone. My men and I are doomed. Doomed as noble Custer was at Little Bighorn. But we shall not yield to Comstock and his tin soldiers. But my scout has seen him. Booker DeWitt is coming here to the hall. DeWitt. We called him the White Engine of Wounded Knee for all the grisly trophies he claimed. Such as he might just grant us the peace we seek. The white Indian of Wounded Knee for all the trophies he claimed. So I was at Wounded Knee in Peking, and apparently I was quite brutal about it. Which is, again, like they're telling you about yourself. And it just doesn't feel very um, doesn't feel very smooth. Everybody knows more about you than you do. That's really disconcerting. Right? Um, we can't go that way, so I guess we're going this way. Is this stone? This is this is hold on. This is stone. Wait a minute. So the front of the building was wood, right? The Hall of Heroes was wood. Now that we're back here, this is stone? Really? When did it transition from wood to stone? That stone there, hold on, let's go back. So remember how I said earlier that the monument should really be stone, given that it's a war memorial. But the... Oh, he's not dead. He's still alive. But the war memorial... War Memorial wasn't, I guess, the most important part of the building. The most important part, I guess, it's the... The Lady Comstock Memorial, which is stone. Where did those guys come from and who were they? Were they... Is Slate still alive, or did I kill him? I think Slate might still be alive actually, hold on, what's going on here? Comstock, so he's the soldier and the prophet. We've seen that painting before. They're reusing all these paintings now. Alright, let's do that just in case. Statue of Liberty and... Soldiers. Collect Shock Jockey from Slate. So I did kill him. We well, crawled back here. So this part is stone as well, kind of? Hey, bro. You're not done here, soldier! Eat everything that's on your plate! Finish it! Uh, no. Spare him. You're a tin man now! Man. Give me your joggy. Shocking 
Right, okay. So well, that's the electro boat from the earlier Bioshock games. Comstock's men will surely take him. Do you ever get used to it? The killing. Faster than you can imagine. Alright, so we're not gonna kill him. Although apparently it's not a mercy. Let's go back outside and grab loot with our new shock jockey plasmid. So this is this is stone? This is stone. This is definitely stone. Okay, this and then this is wood or timber, you know, paneling. And then we go through here. This is stone oh hey guys. Ah! Hold! You know, those vigors seem very powerful. I'll do what I can to keep you stocked in salts. Thanks. Alright, so she just gives everything to you whenever you need it. So this is still stone, right? And then we come back here. Mostly stone. Would he have built? I don't understand. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. What's the timeline here? Comstock had the baby, then Lady Comstock died. When did he start glorifying himself as the hero of Wounded Knee and Peking? Not really sure. Because he would have had to construct. Like, what would have? What would he have? Which part of this would he have built first? If he built the monument or the memorial to Lady Comstock first, the stone part first, and then added the wooden part later on in front, then his military stuff would have been come would have come after. Maybe that makes the most sense. So he founded the city, had a child, kind of, and then his wife died, and then he became more violent and more militarist militaristic afterwards. And because it was apparently um, Daisy Fitzroy killing Lady Comstock that made him, you know, become more militaristic and, you know, increase the the, the violence against the the bombs. I guess. I guess that's the story. Who is who is shooting? I don't even know who's shooting at me. Alright, well, I'm just gonna leave them out there for a while. Ah, uh, wrong button. I can tell what Slate said bothered you. You showed me. Sometimes you have to do what's necessary to survive. There's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in the act. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, the less you know about me, the better. Right, so at this point you find out that Booker has a rather complicated relationship with his past. He's not proud of the person he was. So all this stuff, you don't... Like the game doesn't really tell you about all this stuff until now. As I said, you're learning about yourself as you play the game, which is odd to me. And like not, not learning about who you are, but learning about who you were in the past. Alright, shock jockey. Great. I like how it plays music when you do that. Uh, can I upgrade the shock jockey? No. Let's keep moving forward. Although, you know, having said all of the above... Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Having said all of the above, the game is actually doing a relatively good job of combining the storytelling with the gameplay here. Because 
the, the story part is you learning about your past, learning about what you did. Oh, this. Go ahead. There you go. Learning about what you did in Beijing, Beijing and Winter Knee, right? And then the gameplay part is you shooting dudes. And for the most part, you know, you're doing both at the same time. So, you're learning about who you are at the same time as you are shooting dudes. So I like that. I like that. I like how they're doing that. Can I okay. summon that again? Thanks. Thank you. Can I get more help with uh, more tears? Who is still you? What the? Where did you even come from? All right, we're done. So in terms of that, like the storytelling, I mean, it's slightly better than previously. You know, at the beginning of the game, it's just a lot of walking around and no action and then oh I didn't want to eat that and then there was like action and then not much story like when you found out about the racism it was a bit odd like they were kind of painting on the walls and then you shot a bunch of people and then it wasn't really well combined here the story is a little bit odd because you have a crazy person trying to get his own soldiers killed which makes no sense really but if you can get past that particular point, then it's kind of okay because the rest of it makes sense. So you're going in here, you're finding Slate, and like you, you like there's action while you're learning about the story of you and who you are and where you come from. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right, let's go over here and open this up so we can go upstairs. I missed. Go upstairs and grab loot. Also, the combat was slightly better inside with smaller rooms because, like, it's more granular. <laughs> I usually hate using these kind of. hate using game design jargon. But basically, it's just not, like. What the. Where'd you... All right. Much obliged. It's not just, you know, three dozen guys running at you at the entrance and then you're walking around the rest of the map unmolested, right? And you walk into a room, kill a few guys, walk into a room, kill a few guys, so it's kind of... It's, the, the, the action is just kind of more evenly paced. Uh, grant brief invulnerability when gaining health from... Sna no. It's useless. 